If you are struggling to plan meals or find the time to plan meals, this is something I want you to try today. And if you're struggling, really struggling to do it, and you want a free done for you meal plan, drop a meal plan in the comments and I'll send that over to you. Anyway, struggling to find time to plan your meals, not sure you can do it because you think you have to plan your meals. And I, I totally get this. You know, I've spoken a lot before about public speaking, problems with that. Hey, Bronya, problems I've had with that. And, and the funny thing is, when I was researching it, you Google everything, don't you? Surprised I wasn't diagnosed with something when I Google it. Ah. Um, so after looking at it, it was things like, the type of questions I came across is, what do you have for breakfast? Do you have coffee before? I'm thinking, what? What time do you go to bed before? Do you practice? Do you practice in front of the mirror? All these questions, I was thinking, oh, they're really simple things. And there was a part of me hoping that would be this really complicated thing that I could put off till tomorrow. So I could say, oh, yeah, that's why I'm not being able to public speak and I'm struggling with nerves because I'm struggling to fit in that, that stuff. I'm struggling to fit it all in. Hey, Steffi, hey, Nikki. I'm struggling to fit it in. I won't be able to do that. And that, that makes me feel better when I say that, if I'm totally honest. But because they were things that I could actually work on, you know, what am I having for breakfast? Yeah, am I having lots of coffee before? Am I actually feeling planned? Because when I feel planned, I feel more confident. I spoke about that yesterday. When I prepare, I feel more confident. All these things that I started to go, actually, hey, Pauline, actually, yeah, I can do these things. But like I said, that was a bit scary. And it's the same when it comes to our health, fitness, getting in shape, toning up. Yes, planning your meals. You know, we think we have to do all these things like exercising for an hour. We have all these preconceptions. Eating breakfast, you know, we have all these preconceptions. All these things can work and will work when done correctly for your lifestyle, but it's okay not to do them if you're not ready to do them. And then it begs the question, okay, well, where do I start then? Because that's a tricky thing. Where do I start? And it's a bit like what I just talked about in the public speaking. You could start with what you're having for breakfast, start with the practicing. So where do I start? And it's like a psychologist, Dr. Jordan Peterson says, he says, start where you can. And what, what they mean by this is start where you can in terms of you already do hundreds of things every day. So we already do hundreds of things every day. Hey, Judy, we already do hundreds of things every day. So we may as well start with the things we're already doing so we don't have to add something into our routine. And this could be as simple as when every day you get up, when you brush your teeth, when you have your breakfast, when you have a hot drink, could you add a glass of water into that, into that routine there? Something that is seemingly insignificant. And this is an important point that they reach, they, they conclude on. Most people's brains will go, yeah, but that's pointless. We're doing it anyway, so I'll just put it off. But what they find is these tiny habits seem to add up and then they change the person that you technically are. You know, if you start having a glass of water before every meal all of a sudden over a few months, if you start adding more protein into your breakfast and your blood sugar levels are more stable when you stop snacking over a few lunch, over a few um, years, months, even weeks, even you can start to drastically feel different. If you start to add in like a little bit of a walk, if you start to add in something positive into your routine every day, if you start to go to bed at the same time, get up at the same time, all these things are seemingly insignificant, but we can start now, even if we're really busy. And that's the difference because we can start now when we're really busy. Then all of a sudden, if we have more energy, it feels like we have more time. It feels like we can handle stress a bit better. And then maybe you will plan a bit of your meals. But it's not necessarily that you have to plan your meals. It might be that you just make sure that there's healthier things around to, to grab, especially when you're in control. And you won't be in control all the time. 100% won't be. But there's times where you are. And what if you just get better at controlling them times? You know, weekends, uh, we've got a meal up there, a meal up there. Okay, what are the meals you're in control of? How can we possibly control them a little bit better? And that's the difference there, because if you change 50 of those things, that's a significant transformation. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes you think that actually, yeah, today I will start something really small. And I can't tell you how many times that people have started with a one minute workout of the day that we do, a one minute workout that you can just add into your routine and then gone on to do 20 minute workouts like they're feeling nothing, like 30 minute workouts like they're feeling nothing. But at the time, it takes a lot because our brain will go, yeah, that won't work for me. And that's what our brain does. And then we'll wait for that perfect time, yet we'll then be maybe 10% worse than we were when we were at that point when we said that was pointless. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you want that done for your meal plan, comment below. I'll send that over with meal plan. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. England.
Let me know your England predictions in the comments. Are they joining Italy? Then my ties are split then. The best team. We'll go with that. Whoever the best team is. Hey, Al. So I hope that helps. Any questions, as always, let me know and I'll see you soon. Take care.